Starcraft Mountain Dew. No better flavor. No better flavor out there. Thank you to our sponsors. Sponsor, I should say, for supporting StarCraft 2. Do give them some love. Give PepsiCo some love on Twitter. We're going to go to a TVZ now, mixing it up. It's going to be Bunny versus Solar. Solar from Triumphant Song Gaming. Yes. Well, he's going up against Blazer Bunny. Blazer or B Laser? What do you think? Ooh, I hadn't thought of that. I think it's probably Blazer, but I would prefer to have it B Laser. Hmm. Bunny, um, everybody's saying he's actually in very good form right now. Don't really know what to expect here. Uh, Solar is a very brainy Zerg. He's definitely one of the guys that is constantly on the forefront of showing what Zerg is capable of, whether that be with timing attacks or just late game solid play. Mm -hmm. I think Solar's supposed to win this, but Bunny surprises us a lot of times. Yeah, yeah, I'm not sure. Like, the thing is, he's always like pretty solid. But he's never really ranked that highly in Terran amongst uh, amongst Koreans in Terran, or however you want to say this, right? Because it's like we have the Four Horsemen of Terran, we have Gumiho. That's the top five Terrans. I guess Beyond's in the military, we can discount him at this Whoa. point. But still, is is he the next best Terran after that? I'm not even sure. All right, Trumpet Song Gaming definitely winning the uh, outfit competition here. I'm digging that. Yeah, no, that's cool. Chinese teams know how to do it. A lot of uh, the Korean pros joining some Chinese teams. There's going to be a team league type of uh, tournament that has been teased. StarCraft 2, very popular in China. Esports in China growing very quickly. Yeah, let's see what Solar's got here. Solar, definitely uh, an excellent player. Uh, Bunny seems to be a little bit more reliant on a lot of these timing pushes. His pushes are among the stronger ones with Terran. Sure. He usually wants to get in there and try to cripple the Zerg at some point in time and then try to set up an easy closer. That that seems to be his preference. Yeah. I never think of uh, Solar as really a big macro user, right? He's not yeah. like a rogue or something that's kind of perfectly if Solar was drone a unit, and then perfectly unit, but he's he's going to play smartly. If Solar was a unit, he'd be a Nidus Worm. Huh. I think he'd be a Swarm host, but we can go with the Nidus Worm. Okay. Uh, game's ready. Let's go. Regeneration. I spy with my little eye. A proxy. Indeed. So. Well, let's see what Solar opens up with. Ah, here comes the Sang SUV. That's what we were waiting for. Okay. Well, we'll see if uh, Solar can live through this. <laughs> yeah. Was... Not a kind bad. Kind of far away, but. Not a bad choice here by Bunny. A third SCV. Wow. Okay, well, uh, we don't have a pool yet here for Solar. It, it is just a little bit far away, so that's, I guess, something to consider. But. It's probably the best place that you can put it and make sure it doesn't get scouted. So three Proxy Barracks Marine Rush. Every degenerate gamer is writing down this build right now here from Bunny. Yeah. Send three SCVs out, make your barracks on the side of the map, rally in. There you go, guys. We're getting to platinum tonight. <laughs> yeah. Probably higher than that, to be honest. <laughs> if you're competent at the build in the micro. Okay, so I guess the questions here are things like, uh, does he give up the hatch right away or does he pull the drones? If you pull the drones, a lot of times you're going to lose right there. And then if you give up the hatch, you're going to lose a little bit later a lot of times. Uh, but with the three barracks, I feel like you're a little bit more pressured to kill them right away. So maybe the pulling back into something like Ravager play. Yeah, that's, that's actually the best, one way to do it. The best way to do it. Every Ravager, very important as well. So now Solar knows what's coming. Probably very tilted, uh, I would imagine. Yeah, we don't have his face up right now. Yeah, normally we have on our big screen the players. Uh, yeah, there's the Roach Warren. Player, but, uh, so he's making that Roach Warren. Yeah. Note the second bunker on the high ground now. Lings are going to be hatching here. Um, keep in mind that these Lings can't meet up with the Lings in the main either. They're separated at this point in time. Mm -hmm. So more Lings coming down um, in the main here to try to drive away. Oh, oh, he's got to back this up. Very good control here by Bunny. 
This it's is like, this, this is really going on. Tough. Partying's cannon rush is happening on the other side of the map. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he's gonna he's gonna try to dive in now. Now with the queen out, that's a very handy unit to try to bend this off. You need something yeah. with range to deal with the ranged marine attack. He picked off a marine, so that's not too bad. There is a uh, gas being taken at home for Bunny, so he's getting ready for the transition in case this gets held. So 100% of this hatchery goes down. Yeah. That's we, we already know that. Know. No suspense there. Now there's roaches. Uh, there's five of them coming out now. And he doesn't see the roach warren, but I don't think that that's a big surprise. Now uh, with this build, you send the two barracks back to your main, but use the third to monitor what the tech is. It's one of the reasons why these proxy rushes are so strong. Uh, floating buildings in StarCraft 2 are actually pretty fast. So this can get over there pretty quickly. And from here, what Bunny's trying to do, and we were kind of talking about this earlier, I didn't think the game was going to look like this exactly, but it's the same theme. Bunny likes to cripple his opponents early on and then get a, an easy win later on. Yeah, uh, but you have to defend against this Ravager push that's going to be coming right. up well, right? And when you're going through the three barracks, you're going to be a little bit later in your gas, a little bit later in your factories and all. Uh, and it, really to hold this, I mean, you need Star 4 or Factory Tech, or the Ravagers will end up just killing you. We can see there is an Overlord over near the main base and everything kind of right. ready. Okay, so uh, he already knows what's coming at him. A few more corrosive vials and uh, a dive with these roaches. He probably should be able to take out this bunker, no problem. And you can see the SCVs being moved away. And so now's the opportunity for Solar to try to take this game back. Yeah. Definitely has to move across the map immediately. He's making drones behind us, so he wants to recover. Uh, so if he does not kill him, which you don't, you definitely don't always kill him, right? Like, right. if they get siege tank, they can make bunkers and repair those for a bit. Siege oh, I tank, love this. cyclones, banshees. Oh! He's gonna try to just land it somewhere with it. Oh, that's nice. so annoying. Oh, that's so sick. He can't make a hatch there now. Yeah. Ling's coming back to help clear, but it's gonna take a bit. Very, very annoying. He has the money for that hatchery and everything. He might have to make a hatch somewhere else. I don't know. It's going to take a while to get rid of that, uh, mm -hmm. that so, barracks. So here's this bunker. You're just going to kind of repair this by some time. There's obviously going to be lots of vials coming down. Cyclone is almost out. Yeah, and when that comes out, it gets a lot, lot harder. Obviously, the Banshee is the ultimate unit against this, but it's a little bit slower. New Cyclone should do just fine. OK, another corrosive vial shot coming out there. Solar trying to rotate around these um, He's Ravagers here. I think he's basically held it, right? Yeah, he hasn't really done the type of damage you would want with this. Like he's oh my not God. killed anything. Now he lost the Overlord. <laughs> so he so can't so spot the high ground now. It's actually even worse now because he lost an Overlord and he's supply block. So Bunny's in very good shape this game. This barracks is eventually going to burn down. Again, that hatchery being delayed might be one of the most impactful things that happened this game. You really need to get that second base up as quickly as possible as, uh, as Zerg. So any delay is, is totally worth it for the yeah. Terran. Creep spread's going to take a long time to come out. The fact that Terran's going to be mining at the same time as Zerg from the natural, that is never a good thing for Zerg, especially when you did no counter damage, really. Right. I mean, there's some loss of mining time, some repair, but you can't really count these things. So Stim has started. We probably won't see Terran push out until Stim's done. Uh, there are tanks on the way as well. Now, uh, Solar does have a, a pretty decent army here. These Roaches and Ravagers, they can actually pick a pretty good fight, but um, you know, Roaches and Ravagers, they don't give you a lot of equity the longer the game goes on. Yeah. They're kind of units that have a certain time and place in the game. Mm. Whereas, for instance, Stim Marines are basically good from start all the way to the very end of the game. Right now, Solar going for his lair, taking that third base. It'll be interesting to see what strategy he chooses from here, because there's a lot of ways that you can go to try to come back, right? Like, you could try something crazy like Nidus. You could just go straight up into Hydra's. Uh, you can go into Ling Baneling from here if you want. You know, they remember back when Legacy like of Void first came out, like Ravager, uh, Ling Bane into Ultras was kind of the ultimate strategy even for a little bit. So, I mean, you could bring back something older like that, but uh, this is definitely not ideal, this situation for him. He's Viking as well. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Okay. Saw that. Friendly coming. fire. Yeah. Oh, my God. So annoying here with these. Yeah, Cyclones, Cyclones, if controlled correctly, are some of the most annoying units to fight in the game. So behind this, we're seeing a big tech explosion here for Bunny. He's getting double eBay. Stim is getting close to being done. He's pumping out medevacs two at a time. I think playing it slow is so, so smart. And if your mm -hmm. opponent is staying on the, the Roach Ravager, you just get some medevacs out, do some harassment while slowly but surely upgrading and expanding your economy. And I mean, that's a good way to play it. Yeah, Bunny's looking great today. 
So he's just going to continue to stay on the outside of the creep here with these two Cyclones. Just trying to take out Tumors. We saw him snipe a drone there. Anything he can get is going to be worthwhile. Now here's the double evolution chamber for Solar, but Solar is going to be behind in upgrades. Assuming that Bunny doesn't miss a beat whenever the eBay is done, he makes another one. Mm -hmm. Bunny's going to basically be ahead in upgrades for huge parts of this game. Yeah. Um, Ooh, good spot. You know, he, he started his 1-1 one, one semi recently, so it's not like a huge, huge window to hit, but definitely if he hits during that window, it's so powerful. Upgrades make a huge difference in TDZ. Now, uh, the double medevac coming out. See if, look at that. These two cyclones are kind of luring units up there. Is there anything in the main base to stop these medevacs? Yeah, this is so sick. Oh, even almost gets that Ravager. Okay, we should have an unload here. Uh -oh. um, yeah, in fact, he could even get these. <laughs> Small handful of roaches. Roaches. Yeah. Okay. Well, now that window is going to be gigantic. Yeah. For the upgrade this, difference. Th this is a nightmare right now for sure. Good pickup. Totally Loses. worth eight marines. Yeah. Oh, totally. I mean, basically, guys, the longer this game goes on, the better shape Bunny's going to be in. Yeah. And that was even the more important upgrade care base. <laughs> yeah. Like, not that the attack not is that he bad, knew. but you need, yeah, no, you never know. You always just kind of cross your fingers and target one, but. Carapace is really the one that you need against Marines. So Bunny continuing onwards. Doesn't want to miss a beat, as you said, getting that armory. Baneling speed on the way. That Carapace restarted. Fourth base is started here for Solar as well. But if... It, it, and it seems that Bunny's choice here will probably be kind of what has been the standard with Bio against Zerg for a long time. You hit 2-2 two, two and you hit a very strong timing push. I think that's exactly what he's going to do. Yeah. And this like is, this when that army's that big, are you going to be able to stop that with this kind of like stunted growth economy that we have uh, from Solar? Yeah, this is probably the only way to play this, right? I mean, otherwise you're just opting. If you're going to play anything standard after what's happened as a Zerg, you're just playing from a, a losing position. Yeah. you got to try to tip the scale in your favor. Um, he's getting Infestation Pit, so where does he go from this? There are, there are options. Like, he can go for Ultras. Ultras have been improved, right? That used to be the way you would do it with uh, a Ravager-based build early on is going to Ultras. Um, other than that, like, obviously there's, there's Broodlord possibilities here. That feels like it's the one that's least likely to work. I like, it like gives you a big punch once, but he problem doesn't. With, yeah. The problem with Broodlords is that you can kind of play around the Broodlords. You can attack where they're not. Like, they can be very good, but it's a better transition out of a Hydralisk build. Well, he started his melee attack. That's pretty normal. Uh, and Bunny's actually pushing out right now. So I, I definitely can't, like, fault him for pushing out. He's got a pretty scary army. Okay, here but, we go. A stim, uh, the siege, kind of an awkward moment here. Those biles just shutting that down. Oh my God, beautifully done here by Solar. Is this going to be enough? It looks like it should be. Yeah. Yeah. There was this weird moment where he just sieged up right in the middle of the fight. It was almost as if Bunny was surprised that he got ambushed at that moment. What is the story with this tank? <laughs> yeah, I think he thought he was going to die for sure there. But uh, it's kind of interesting that he would push out right then. It's sometimes hard to gauge exactly where you're at compared to your opponent when you have weird early games like we just saw. If nothing happens, it's very easy to gauge. The yeah. more that happens, the harder it becomes to gauge. So I uh, don't want to be too hard, but when you're when you're going towards 2-2, two -two, a 2-2 two -two timing push, which is kind of the, the strong way to play bio against Sir, and you move out when 2-2 two -two is half done, uh, is, is that the correct play? Okay, this is an interesting play here. He goes for the oh, snipe on the hatch. Just gets it, yeah. Yeah, barely gets that. Um, but, you know, frankly, uh, solar supply is so far exceeded the Zergs. You know, every once in a while when you dive on a hatchery or a nexus or a command center mm -hmm. and you're willing to give up your army um, to do so, the math gets a little bit fuzzy on, on who's uh, favored after that. You well, it, it really, it's a time-based thing as well. Like, how much did you sacrifice? If you're sacrificing army for economy, you have to wait for that economy hurt to hit their army. So right. you have to wait. You have to sit back macro a bit. I'm getting worried for Bunny here. I think he had everything going for him so well until he screwed up the big attack. Yeah. And now we're in a situation well, was, where was, Solar's growing at such a crazy pace. Well, he's going into Ultras, too. So, like, when he has plus two care pace and... You know, his ultras are big and armory and fast. That is going to be uh, a hard thing to attack into. And ultras are also kind of hard to kill your opponent with. 
They're not the best attacking units, but for defensive purposes, they are insane. Okay, chasing those lings away. Another scan there in the main here. We do have that Ultra Tech coming, as you were saying, Artosis. Yeah, kindness plating coming up. I feel like Solar has so gracefully handled this game. Um, it's really showing how strong he is, considering he was playing from a deficit for most of this. This is really impressive. Okay, here comes that big push now from Bunny. Now, Ultras are hatching as this push is coming here. And yeah, I don't think Solar wants to attack up that hill. This time, Bunny sieging up before the actual fight happens. One of the big mistakes he made in that last big fight was the siege happened like as Lings and Ravagers were surrounding the army. Well, he's almost maxed out and he is at 2-2, right? So that's, this is a much stronger push than, this is like the initial push that we wanted to see. Uh, the first one that he did really didn't do anything, but since he's almost maxed out here, it's it hasn't made the biggest difference in the whole world. I'm not completely sure, especially considering he was able to kill the fifth base once already. Okay, another big attack coming here. Lightning oh clouds showering this area. Yeah, the main <laughs> ultra just running rampant through absolutely everything. Painless plating is done. Gonna back up onto the creep now. Yeah, there's a decent uh, sized infantry army here. Looks like Bunny wants to try to rotate around here to the bottom. Maybe take out this hatchery that we have on camera just a second ago. There it is. Uh, he's, he's got kind of a limited time here because that ultraless speed upgrade is going to be finished and that is going to be so scary with the plus two melee finishing as well. By the way, positionally, Terran's kind of running out of spots to expand too easily. Mm -hmm. you know, the more Terran has to branch out on the map, generally the harder the game gets for them. Okay, Tasis, here we go. Ultra speed is about to finish. A bunch of ultras are about to hatch here also. There are these two empty medevacs that didn't do anything over here. Mm -hmm. I think he was hoping to pull back some of that army into the main and then try yeah. to push in there, but Solar did not right flinch. All right, there's a lot more chase potential right now. Uh, if Bunny does have to leave his entrenched position, here we go. Starting to move in. A nice abduct there to get that Liberator out of position. It does reset up, but some corrosive Biles going down immediately upon it. I think uh, at this point in time, Solar could chase him all the way back home. He's got to be a little bit careful at, uh, it, the uh, Liberators, and I say, like, I kind of like the backing up a little bit and then turning back around. Like, you you don't want your units to all be in a line chasing Bunny down. Yeah. Uh, but definitely the Ultras can give Chase so much better now, you can see. He's really making these Liberators useless with that Corrosive Vial. So a lot more veilings being made. These things come out so yeah. fast. This may signal that we're going to have another big attack come in here. Yeah, he's he's continuing all his upgrades just magnificently as well. The one thing I have to say is he needs to throw down a spire. That that is the one way that you really lose here as Solar is you don't have a spire because eventually you are going to need something like corruptors if Bunny holds on. Well, this attack though, <laughs> maybe nothing oh, matters. Oh man, my God. Well, actually, Bunny's controlling this pretty well. I think he should be able to stabilize here. Yeah, some of these Liberators are getting a lot of damage over time. All right, finally abducts that one. Bunny. Nice concave there from Bunny chasing everything back. Looks like Bunny's killing it, and then you glance at the supplies and you realize just how well Solar's doing despite some of these attacks that haven't gone as well. Yeah. Well, again, like, Ultras are are a great unit in a lot of ways, but to actually attack the Terran with them is much harder than just defending your bases with them. Okay, he's uh, finally... This has been his white whale this whole game is his hatchery, man. <laughs> is he ever going to get this? At least kill the hatchery and then tap out GG, okay? Yeah. Oh my god, it's getting transfused. Well, you just send a Marauder up. Well, he could have before, not now. <laughs> okay, again, more Banes coming in here. I think he's actually going to hold this attack off as well. No, actually, there's a pretty decent amount of infantry up there. He's having he's a hard time actually clearing the Liberators as well. And another thing is, we don't really see any medevacs dying throughout this, so Liberators are able to be produced non-stop. Yeah. And this is part of the reason why you need a, a Spire. It's something that we've seen, uh, I remember like a couple years ago, uh, Dark was having a hard time with that, where like he would just not make a Spire for a while, and Liberators would really start to hurt his Ultralisk style. Yeah. Uh, but if you can just add a group of Corruptors into this, then suddenly when you're chasing this, like you're killing just, Medivacs, you're killing Liberators. He's chased him so far on the map, you might as well chase him into game two here. <laughs> yeah. I mean, this is... We've been following that armor this entire I time. Know. It's been Sutter Step Micro all the way to the left side of the map. And guys, that hatchery never got killed. Oh my god, you're it right. Lives. It lives. That hatchery's name is El Cucaracha. It, <laughs> it never dies. It refuses. 
Okay, more Banes. All right, finally some Corruptors coming out as well. That is really going to help out. We were talking about how Terran's starting to run out of places to expand to, but the same is actually happening for Zerg. Zerg basically has almost the entire right side of the map. Mm. Uh, like that base, uh, nice little drop upon it. Decent creep spread still. Not like the best creep spread you've ever seen, but Solar's been on the back foot for most of the game, so can't fault him for that too much when he's kept that aggression up. I think at this point in time, Solar's just trying to max out. He has a pretty decent excess of minerals here, so we'll probably just see a lot more lings be made, whereas uh, Bunny actually has a, a lot of gas banked yeah. up. He's He's got 3-3. Three, three. He's got Adrenal. You know, he's got basically all the upgrades except for air upgrades right now. So as he adds these Corruptors in, to this just massive Ling Bane Ultra army. It's it's gonna be very scary to deal with, but if you play kind of a positional game, if you can get into those ghosts as well, I think you can draw this out more as Bunny and potentially get some good engagements. Okay, Bunny's gonna try to go for it. Is this the time the hatchery goes down? More Banes being made. That is a almost impossible position to break there for Zerg. I love the turrets that are being made. Those are gonna help out immensely. Like, these Corruptors otherwise could just clear everything. Okay, here we go. A gigantic flank coming out from Solar. Parasitic Bomb going down and abduct as well. The Corruptors going to work, but it's going to take a bit. Okay, the Bane's coming through here. Uh, and I got to say, I'm pretty impressed here with Solar. He's actually driven this out. The Corruptors are going to take out all these Liberators. In what looked like an unbreakable position, Solar's once again pulled through. Right now, Bunny with below 100 supply. Yeah, it's looking a little bit rough for him right now. He needs GG. another base if he's going to stay in it, but no, does tap out. Okay, I think this is going to be a 2-0. The fact that that game started out with a three racks proxy, let's not forget mm. that. He killed the hatchery. Solar's counterattack with the Road Travenger didn't do anything. And his second hatchery was delayed when he had to remake it. And Solar still wins in the late game? Yeah, no, Solar played that really, really well. I loved his usage of Ultras there. Uh, he yeah. did a great job of eliminating that first army that Bunny sent out at... And again, it was like kind of a strong army he was moving out with. It is hard to judge in, in where you are in a game that has been that kind of crazy back and forth with, you know, the killing the hatcher early on, delaying his other hatch. He's on like Roach Ravager that hasn't done anything. But it seems like that was a bit of an anti-timing in a way. You know, 2-2 two, two, half done and you attack. Hmm. Not so sure about that, but he's going to have to clean up his play a little bit. Okay, Cyber Forest will be the map for game number two. I don't know, man. I mean, if I was Bunny, I would be pretty shaken. Also, considering that Partying and SOS are also in this group. Oh, yeah. It's not looking good for Bunny. No, that's <laughs> that's a tough one. Those yeah. two Protosses are the types of Protosses that Terrence, Terrence don't want to play. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> All right, game two's ready. Let's do this. No. No. Oh, no, I'm right. Okay. I he an SCV out really early. I thought he was going to do another <laughs> Proxy Rex. Okay, never That'd mind. Fine. No, just uh, a wall at that bottom ramp, I guess. Brace up, Bunny. Bunny. What goes into your mind when you name yourself Bunny? <laughs> Pool for Triumph Solar. A long time ago, I dated a girl that had a pet bunny. Yeah? Yeah. They suck. They're not actually Is that, that the exciting. whole story? Or? I, I was, was going to get pet the bunnies. You had pet, they're, they're actually not that great as pets compared to like cats and dogs. Yeah, cats and dogs are like the best pets, pets for sure. Yeah. Um, but initially, I mean, you're like, bunnies, oh, it's a bunny, cool. And the then you're like, eh, I'm cool. bored. Yeah, the thing is, they aren't really that smart. They're really dumb. It's um, like I had, I had three rabbits. Uh, they were big ones too, and it was like I really liked them quite a bit. Those were my first pets. Yeah, and uh, like I'd let them run around my yard and fed them stuff and held them sometimes and stuff. But like, you know, I to be honest, back then I like just all I did was play with my pets. It yeah, is what led me into being a vegetarian. But um, yeah, they just they weren't that smart. And then I got guinea pigs, and I was like. Oh, this animal's actually got a brain in its head. Yeah, like yeah, it's it, actually got like a personality much, and stuff. Much, yeah. yeah, there's like kind of more there. It, yeah. It's, I don't know, it's just something you can tell. I had them at the same time and stuff, and it was like, oh, okay. I'd love to see guinea with like an army there. of guinea pigs. 
It almost became tasteless. It almost occurred. If you were like, are amazing though. Every time like I see them at like a pet store out here, I'm like, <gasps> no, I have little babies and a dog. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> a terrier type dog. It's like this is not a good idea. I can't have a guinea pig. Uh, by the way, we have a very quick uh, roach war in here. And um, it looks like Solar is going to be very active to start this game up. Oh my god! He got the SCB! Wow, that's no good, is it? <laughs> this, this is really is... bad for Terran right now, yeah, considering that there's roaches coming here and SCBs aren't mining. My gosh, you're certainly right about that. Oh! Oh my god, he's stopping the wall and everything. This is so annoying. This is Doto level body blocking. Okay, I don't know anything about Doto, but. Doto? Can you tell me about it compared to Warcraft 3? Um, both of the characters in Warcraft 3 and Doto have to have that weird animation where they kind of turn when they're moving. Uh -huh. You seen that? The only thing I've seen is Blade Master become invisible and just run through things. And all the Chinese cheer. fans go, oh, Grabby, you're so good. I go, no, no, I can do that too. It's called Windwalk. Watch, there's a hockey fort right here. <laughs> it's an ability that he has. Okay, so oh two my God. star ports on the way. Oh, I'm really sad that this game's going to end so quickly because this build looks so cool from Bunny. <laughs> okay, GG. Well, I'm taking home a lucky rabbit's foot. My gosh, that was that was a sad, sad game for Bunny. I, but the fact that he was going double star port, I'm very excited to see what that yeah, would have been. Yeah, well, that build's lost in history, Artosis. We'll never yeah. find out what happened there. Solar just I don't Hulk know. smashing his way through this yeah. that winter match. And Solar SOS, like, that actually can go either way. I, I'm never super impressed with SOS's uh, PBZ. You know, he's he's good at it. He definitely can win, but I don't know. That's, that's an interesting match. Okay, well, Bunny's not eliminated yet. Solar will go on to battle SOS. That's going to be a cool match. And we're going to have that uh, just after this break. So stick around. We'll be right back here at the GSL.